that told me how to find this list of civilian names for the kid. Well, how many times you heard me ask for it? I asked McNamara again this morning. I asked he and George to get for me. Well, I, I won't got, do it. I got all the names now, and if your first thing's going to happen is they're going to go tell, they're going to go tell uh, Tom Dodd, Hoover is, that I didn't check it, and I've got a notorious communist as secretary of the uh, army. That's what they'll do, yes, and sir. I'll be destroyed. Well, I mean, it's impossible, but I'll, if with your permission, yeah. I'll get Deke and... Please, uh, just tell them that we thought it had been checked out, and tell Rayburn we thought it had been checked out, and we want both of them to give us a letter, because I'm not going to have them running up and saying Johnson didn't check, and he turned it over to a bunch of communists. Yeah. And tell them that when you talk to them. Yes, sir, I will. Uh, that's number one. Number two, I want to check this with you. They, uh, for very complicated reasons, it may be desirable to have uh, Jaime Benitez uh, uh, flown over there. That's all right. And uh, if I'll, yes, I'll make yes. stand by arrangements. Yes, yeah. sir. Now, wait a minute. Have you read this last uh, cable from Bundy at 10... 1052? I have that 1052 cable, but I uh, haven't read it because I've been on the phone with well, him about half Then you don't need it, then, I guess. He all. told me about it. Well, now, as it, Guzman is going now to Rebel Command, he's agreed to put forth a agreed Secretary of Armed Forces. Uh, has he been checked out with us, the one he's going to put forth? We don't have a name yet. He is going to put forth. We have some names, but we don't know. a place in cabinet for the loyalists. That's right. But he's unwilling to raise the question of departure of Aristi or Tavares or Monty Ratchet. All right. No. He's now told Slutterman of unstated rebel condition of yesterday. It was that Kamanya should be a member of some sort of joint military command. Well, we get Guzman on his way. I've had Slutterman tell him that he would press first two conditions and tell rebels there's one other matter which he, he said, let's put the departure question where you can decide it. Of course, I prefer. I now believe the question may be the last issue. It is also one of the most important. Departure of three least popular rebels would have three major good effects. Would increase chance of loyalist cooperation. Vance sees his second only minister of armed forces for this purpose. Notes that we are sending all his side already. It would increase the chance that officers new government have real as well as nominal control. Uh, just because it's so desirable, this result's hard to reach. My present proposal is that the agreement should provide three agreed members each side must leave the country to prevent vengeance. I believe that if this proposal for an honorable cooling off period can be presented as a joint position of Johnson and Bosch, we can put it over. And I believe it makes a great difference. If this is to be done, we must get Bosch to support it as a matter of humanity and magnanimity before they all wiped out. It's full of honor and renunciation and paternal wisdom, but it touches nerves under the power. Vance and I join hoping that you'll decide to press on this point. Well, now, uh, as I told him, and I think uh, Mac uh, went along with this, Benitez this morning was telling me that uh, the uh, no guys, the commie, the commie or guys are guys that we suspect of being left and uh, who don't want a deal are uh, eroding, trying to erode J.B.'s position. And uh, he said that... Uh, if we, we've got to work out some way to handle this particular matter about the three fellas so as to not to cause them to lose face. And I, I think Mac agrees with that, and I agree with it. In other words, it, this is an area in which we have to uh, take a chance, and the chance that I would uh, suggest taking is that, uh, and which uh, was suggested by Benitez, is that we have uh, a uh, gentleman's agreement realizing that the other side may not be a gentleman, but a gentleman's agreement uh, with uh, G and with JB that this will be done. But I'm afraid that, uh, A, the value, the real value of it, permanent value, apart from the trading value of it, may not be great. And uh, 
B, I am afraid that if we don't handle it with the, uh, in a way so that these guys can save face, that uh, we may find that what we've done is to increase their power and decrease the power of J.B., who I continue to think is a moderating, though crazy and mercurial, uh, factor in this situation. Mac agreed uh, that uh, with this uh, appraisal of it, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Now, it could be, it could be we ought to talk to Mac and make him tell Palmer to certify to me by wire. Number one. Give me I'm in Smith's office. I want Palmer to certify to me by wire. Number one, that the helicopters are not giving any aid to this other crowd. 
that he personally checks it and it's his reputation. Number two, that they're not letting them go through the lines. Wait a minute. That uh, helicopters are not giving any aid. Uh, they're not letting the men go through the lines for the purpose of these attacks. Uh-huh. And uh, that uh, we're not furnishing them with any equipment or anything to do this with. And that we're not letting the airplanes off the ground. They say we're letting the airplanes off to bomb them. But just say they have presented to me pretty strong evidence. And that's what they're telling the United Nations. That's what they're telling our friends in Puerto Rico. That's what they're telling my mediators. So I have got to know on these four things and tell Bomb Smith if he needs to to put that on a cable and ask the general to certify that to me. And, right. and after checking with Vance and to be positive that they're telling the truth, if any of this is true, uh -huh. then I don't blame them a damn bit on the other side. Yeah. And right. if it's not true, it looks like it's true. And they oughtn't to give the appearance. They keep right. those goddamn helicopters out of the air. All right. <laughs> now, shall, I, shall we put this in a cable or a telephone? To Either, my... whichever's quicker. I'd tell Mike to do it myself. I, I'd, I'd have Ron Smith as my assistant just call him. Right. I'd tell Sayer to say that the president, I just, uh, whoever's down there, I, yeah. this boy Harry, who, some underling, I wouldn't take too much of a... Uh, Harry's over there. Well, that's what I say. If somebody over there, I would have Brom Smith tell somebody over there that the president wants immediately from uh, Palmer and Vance a statement to, that is the truth on these conditions. Mm -hmm. And by God, he wants it stopped if it's true. If it's not true, he wants it to be there next. Mm -hmm. All right. That they're willing to stand on. And then you can tell Maureen uh, M Munoz that this is what I've required be done, and this this general is going to be court-martialed, exactly. and Vance is going to be fired if they lie. Exactly. Now, now, could I, uh, may I suggest we call Vance on this? Yeah. Because yeah. he, he's got a lull in All here, right. All and right. I'd, I'd put it right up to Vance. All right. Just call him right quick. I'll just say right that away. this is what I asked. You might put Brom on, let him tell him as officially, and then you get on and sure. explain it, but just say that well, what's happening is Stevenson's wiring down here. Tell him the United Nations is saying these things. Right. That uh, my mediators in Puerto Rico are saying that that's what they're telling them. But uh, we, we tell them that our mediators are saying they're this, and I keep saying no, but I want these specific questions. Have any helicopters helped them in any way, and if not, keep the helicopters out of the air, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, have any planes taken off? If so, how many? And where did they go? And don't let any more take off. That's number two. Number three, do we let any men go through the lines? If so, when and how? And don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Number four, uh, uh, are we furnishing them any equipment of any kind, and are our men ever together with them in tanks or trucks? Right. Yeah. They've got pictures, and they're making me look bad, and I want these answers, and I want that general to get his goddamn uniform off, go out there in his shirt sleeves, and patrol those lines himself, and see if this is true. Yes, sir. Okay. Take care. Thank you.